Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is July 27th. This episode is related to Ehang and other automakers in China that enter the EVTOL market. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about EVTOL prototype released by Volkswagen China and EVTOL aircraft from other Chinese automakers, followed by discussion of Ehang's advantages over these competitors and others. First, about prototype of passenger EVTOL released by Volkswagen Group China, hereafter referred to as Volkswagen China or the group. Volkswagen, China, releases prototype of passenger EVTOL V.MO. Volkswagen, China, released the first electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVTOL, passenger aircraft prototype on July 27 to further explore and develop fully electrified and sustainable personal mobility. This photo shows the prototype of passenger EVTOL V.MO. It is a four-seater aircraft. But without person standing nearby for dimension reference, the appearance size looks smaller than a plane that can carry four passengers. Here is another photo showing the prototype of the passenger EVTOL aircraft from a different angle. This photo shows the R&D team of passenger EVTOL V.MO prototype. From this photo with the team personnel for dimension reference, you can get the feel about the true size of the aircraft. In 2020, Volkswagen, China, launched the Air Mobility Project, which aims to explore next-generation mobility solutions, including the urban air mobility market and the expansion of urban mobility into airspace. After in-depth research, concept construction and development, the project team has now completed the first verification machine, VDMO. To commemorate this milestone in the Chinese Lunar Year of the Tiger, the exterior design of the prototype features a unique black and gold color scheme, meaning, Tiger with wings added, and conveying the message, Tiger is already powerful, and Tiger with wings added is even more powerful. In this photo, you can see the unique black and gold color scheme for Tiger. Next, let's know more about Volkswagen, China, S Passenger EVTOL. Volkswagen, China, Prototype of Passenger EVTOL V.MO. Autonomous Flying. The prototype builds on existing autonomous flying solutions and battery technology to create zero emission mobility. X-Wing Configuration The prototype is designed as a luxurious X-Wing configuration with a wing length of 11.2 meters and a wingspan of 10.6 meters. Eight rotors for vertical takeoff and landing, and two rotors for horizontal propulsion. Four Passengers The aircraft is designed to carry four passengers. Range 200 kilometers. This pure electric, fully autonomous flying EVTOL passenger aircraft will eventually be able to carry four passengers and luggage for up to 200 kilometers. The Associate Air Mobility Project was launched in 2020. This prototype has just been released today on July 27, 2022. Flight tests in H2 2022. Higher standard test flights at end of summer 2023. The group will further optimize the plan through several rounds of flight tests in the second half of this year, and the improved prototype will undergo higher standard test flights at the end of summer 2023. Cooperated with local partner Hunan Sunward Technology. The group has formed a team of young Chinese local experts to promote the progress of the air mobility project. They have interdisciplinary and innovative thinking in new fields, and at the same time, work closely with local Chinese partners such as Hunan Sunward Technology. Hunan Sunward Technology is a subsidiary of Sunward Intelligent Equipment Group located in Hunan Province, engaged in the development, sales and service of aviation products, and is a market leader in the field of light sport aircraft. Initial Commercial Application, High-End VIP Air Shuttle Services In the initial stage of commercial application, the aircraft will create high-end travel products, such as VIP Air Shuttle Services, targeting Chinese high-net-worth customers who pursue innovative technological experiences. No certification time frame at present. As the Air Mobility Project develops, the group will cooperate with relevant Chinese authorities to obtain certification. There is no time frame provided at present. Next, let's see the remarks from Dr. Feng Sihan, CEO of Volkswagen Group, China. Through this pioneering project, we are committed to creating high-end mobility products to meet the needs of Chinese customers for innovative technology and future air mobility services, and to further develop Volkswagen's long-standing tradition of excellence in precision engineering, design and innovation. Our team of young Chinese experts started from scratch, 
using new design concepts, materials, and setting new safety standards to continuously inject innovation into this pioneering project. The debut of the V.MO demonstrator is the first important milestone in our exploration of urban air mobility, which once again demonstrates the group's development mission of, in China, for China. With the long-term goal of promoting the industrialization of this field, we are committed to opening up new opportunities in this emerging and fast-growing market by, tigers with wings added. Here, it is noted Volkswagen, China, recognizes that EVTOL is a fast-growing emerging market and opens up new opportunities. Next, about automakers in China with EVTOL ventures. Automakers in China that enter the EVTOL market. Volkswagen, China. We have just talked about Volkswagen, China, above. Next. Xpeng Huitian, Guangzhou based. Xpeng Huitian is associated with Xpeng EV Carmaker. It plans to make EVTOL aircraft as well as true flying car that can run on ground and fly in air. Its focus appears to be more on flying cars. Here is a photo showing its X22 seater EVTOL. Days ago, He Xiaopeng, the founder of Xpeng, just announced the latest progress of its flying cars, saying that Xpeng Huaitian's new trial production pilot plant was officially opened. It is understood that the trial production and test base is located in Hualong Town, Panyu District, Guangzhou. The base covers an area of about 35,000 square meters and a building area of 20,000 square meters. It mainly includes two trial production workshops, a power test center and a flying car test center. It will mainly undertake the tasks of trial production, process verification and performance testing of flying cars before mass production, and will also support the pre-research, machining and testing of other projects in the early stage. Next. Geely Terrafugia, Wuhan-based. Geely acquired the Massachusetts-based flying car company Terrafugia in 2017, subsequently establishing a research and development team in China focused on urban air mobility. In this photo, Geely's Terrafugia performed the first flight of a TF, two-way subscale demonstrator in mid-December last year. According to the company, the full-scale Terrafugia TF, two-A will carry two people up to 100 kilometers. The aircraft is expected to eventually transition to autonomous flight. Next. GAC Group, Guangzhou-based. GAC Group is a state-owned automaker. Days ago on July 25th, according to Chinese media, GAC Group is developing EVTOL or flying car. On the online recruitment platform, it can be seen that GAC Research is already recruiting relevant talents. The recruitment positions include aircraft ground dispatch system development engineers, aircraft test engineers, aircraft architecture design engineers, etc. The salary is between 20,000 and 40,000 yuan. It is good to see that more and more companies including well-established large enterprises have entered the EVTOL market. The rising tide will lift all boats. Some Ehang fans and investors may worry about the competition. But Ehang has its unique competitive advantages resulted from being the first mover, which we will see next. Ehang first mover advantages. Besides Ehang's unique AAV hardware design advantages, Ehang has the following first mover advantages. China first CAAC approved passenger AAV pilot unit in 2018. In 2018, Ehang was approved by CAAC as China's first passenger AAV pilot unit. 20,000 safe test flights since first passenger AAV launch in 2016. The large number of test flights is very important. On one hand, they help for product iterative improvement. On the other hand, they help for type certification speed up. EH216S Special Conditions, World's First AAV Standards and TC to be granted soon. CAAC has issued EH216S Special Conditions, which is the world's first AAV airworthiness standards, and Ehang is expected to receive the type certificate soon. Only EVTOL company with actual sales, more than 100 units. Ehang is the only EVTOL company that has actual sales of more than 100 units. Large pre-orders in China and Asian countries. Ehang has received large pre-orders in China and Asian countries such as Japan, Indonesia and Malaysia. Yunfu production base operational since mid-2021. Ehang is the only EVTOL company that has its operational production base. Ehang is the only EVTOL company that has. Command and dispatch center, booking system, etc., 
almost ready for commercial operation. Ehang has, trial operation sites almost ready for commercial operation. Ehang has been recognized as leader by CAAC and the state government, and therefore has received special supports in terms of certification and finance assistance, etc. For Ehang, private and local government partners have established with much more to come after TC. This will create a high barrier for later comers once Ehang has built and established the local partner networks. As you can see, Ehang is in a leading position with its unique first mover status and associated competitive advantages. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.